Okay, so recently I had my endocrinology appointments and my scan and um, a lot of stuff has just happened about my hormone blockers and I know a lot more so I think it's time for an update. So on the 16th of April I had my um, endocrinology information meeting thing with my mum. I was in a room with a bunch of other kids and they were just talking about why people go on hormones. Actually let me, I have a folder full of the stuff that they gave me, let me just grab it. So they gave me a folder full of um, everything that I need to know basically. Alright so I'm not going to show you the slides just because I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to but I'll, I'll just tell you a couple of things that are important. Okay so the first thing they told us was like, why people choose to have hormone blockers. Yeah a lot of it they so they talked about um, cross sex hormones so they talked about how long um, the requirement is for you to be on hormone blockers before you can start HRT. They also said that you don't have to be on them for the whole course and you can stop at any point and you don't have to go on HRT afterwards. And then they talked about hormones and puberty, so like how that works for like natal stuff. Okay, so they also, they say here that um, my blood has to be tested every six months and I have to have a bone scan every 12 months. So I had one now and I'll probably have one after I've finished. Okay, so this is where they start talking about the DEXA scan. So after the information day thing, I went for my DEXA scan, which is just like a weak ass um, x-ray. I just lay down on a bed and like this like one thing went over my body. I was really nervous before because I'd never done anything like that, but it was actually really chill. The reason that they scan your body is so that they can see how strong your bones are because I think I've mentioned this before, but your hormones are what kind of keeps your bones strong. I guess so if you have a disability or something where your bones aren't very strong um, then they obviously don't want to give you hormone blockers. Okay so after that I went for blood tests where they took um, three tu tubes of my blood and that's to look for things like vitamin D and stuff and hormone levels. Just, then they talked about the side effects and I knew the majority of these but I'll just say them anyway. So variants in moods, uh, night sweats, hot flushes, weight gain, reduced libido, but most of those symptoms kind of chill after three months and if they don't then they'll probably put a little bit more of my natal hormone back in my body. Okay so now we're talking about how they administer hormone blockers. So they're given by injection in your butt and they usually start people off on gonopeptil and that's given every 28 days but after a couple of months um, you can take decapeptil which is every 10 to 12 weeks. So now they're starting to talk about fertility and they actually had a woman come in afterwards specifically to talk about fertility but I honestly do not want to get into that. I could not care less. So although hormone blockers are reversible, your fertility kind of gets more pro problematic when you start HRT. So then they just talked about like the different options that you have, how you could start having in the future and stuff. And they talked about things like adoption and um, like cryopreservation. Now this is the interesting bit that I had no idea about, but they don't give HRT to smokers, which I honestly did not know. Um, and they also don't give it to people that BMI is like too high or too low, which makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So the last thing on this uh, slide that they gave me is what's going to happen on my next endocrinology meeting, which is in a month or two, I'm not sure. I get to meet my endocrinologists, but they'll review all my results, and I'm expecting them just to say that my bones are fine, I'm probably deficient in like vitamin D or something. And then something that I had no idea about is the physical exam. I don't, I, I don't even, I can't, I can't talk about it. So for people who are assigned male at birth, it kind of involves them, the nurses just kind of copping a feel. And for people who are assigned female at birth, they have to peek at your downstairs and your top. Yeah, sounds great. Can't wait. Okay, so that's the slides. And they just have a lot of information stuff in here about HRT and stuff, which I already <laughs> know. Okay, so that's everything that happened at my meeting the other week. Here's what I have to look forward to for the future now. I have to hit up my GP and talk to them about hormone blockers and like future HRT because some GPs aren't actually licensed to 
give hormone blockers and gonopeptil, whatever it's called, I can't remember, because it's not actually considered like a treatment for gender dysphoria and stuff, so I, sometimes it can get a bit technical. So I need to talk to my GP about that, I know if they can't prescribe me or administer me with the treatment, I'll either have to go to Leeds every month or go to the hospital. I'm just kind of hoping that my GP's chill with it. I also have to prep for my appointment, which should be in the next couple of months, where I have to prep for my physical examination, and I also hopefully get to look at the scan of my skeleton, which would be cool. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'll keep you all updated. See you later.